social media shit. Oh, I gotta <laughs> plug I gotta plug this social media. Okay, out. good. Um, I'm on Loom, it's for artists. You probably seen the little yeah. things on like YouTube and shit like that, but um Loom is a really good platform uh, for artists. So I'm on it. I get to upload my music right to there. It, it pays me better than a lot of the streaming pro- uh, platforms because you it's a it's basically like it has Instagram mixed with like Apple Music basically. Mm. So I can upload my music. I can upload posts that have my music like this is a post. This is a post of my music. Da da. da. And there's nothing but like a lot of artists on there. And fans, so I can gift gift you something, and then people can see that. And then all of the coins that I get gifted from the gifts, because they have a value of coins, I can get paid out. So I think you get 50, 50 cent per 100 coins. So right now, mm. i just been on it for like a month or two, and I'm at like 5,000 coins. So I was like, that's a little bit more money than 20,000 streams on Spotify. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, So yeah. like, I've been trying to push loom a lot and i've been putting i saw so i've been releasing my things anything that i'm releasing i've been releasing it a couple of days or a week early on loom so people can get an exclusive feel for it they can be like okay i rock with them so hopefully if you sign up to loom you can they give you free coins you can gift me the coins or like one of the songs you like you can save all of the songs to your library like you got a library and then you can find a lot of unsigned artists on there too that you like like it's like anything you got to sift through bullshit, but it's like every now and again you're going to find like me. I was like, damn, they kind of go hard. And then I can try to collab with some of these people as well because I can hit them up through the app. And I think like Neo or somebody is one of the first investors in this one. But Loom? Loom. L-O-O-M? L-U-M. Like oh, L-U-M. L with the two dot, like a German U. Um. Like Loom. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. And I've been like, I've been getting feedback from it. I posted, I posted the single that I'm dropping on Friday called Learn You Something. I posted it today on Loom so that people can listen to it exclusively there. Like, of course, it's only going to be like 15, 20 people listen to it because that's how close my super, super, super fan base is. But yeah. once it starts popping, more people will see because they, they all are on accessibility right now. So they're like, uh, if I don't have Apple Music, when I have Spotify, I don't have this, I just wait to hear your shit. I don't care to go yeah. do something else to yeah. go listen to your song. But if I can get to push people there, I think it'll be beneficial for both of us. Like you're helping me monetarily. I'm seeing it. I can show views on Loom, Apple Music, this. I can. So it's like just help because it's all about the age of content. So as long right. as I got content, I'm here. I'm all. I'm, I'm. I'm not trying to put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah, yeah. Would you um release like content on uh, like OnlyFans, like a video or something? I like mean, exclusive videos true. where you don't even drop it nowhere else. I would, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't go with the stigma of OnlyFans. Like they got Patreon, you know what I'm saying? Accounts and stuff like that. Like where people could subscribe to you and pay you monthly, and it doesn't have like a sexual uh, connotation <laughs> to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's the bad thing about it. That's but all it is. It's, yeah. a, it's a sexual connotation to that. So it's like, yeah. It's like you go on here, OnlyFans, everybody else is selling ass and pictures and titties and stuff. And then me, I'm just rapping. I don't think I'm going to sell that much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it might. I mean. Yeah, I know. It, it is some people I've seen that Yeah, that I think people doing. might do it because OnlyFans, the platform itself, is popular. Because, like I said, it's the same thing as a Patreon. Like, I pay you $5 a month and I can see all of your content for, like, here exclusively. Mm. Like, and then you just put stuff for your, like, super fan, like a newsletter. I'm going to have this. These are freestyles. It's not out, but my Patreon people can get it. Same thing as OnlyFans. Like I said, but OnlyFans, the company is blowing up bigger because of the sexual Sexual. connotation. So if you be like, oh, you got OnlyFans, and then maybe it's, like, going to be trickery. Like, people might be mad. They're like, damn, I wanted to see you with your shirt off and this. Yeah. But you sitting here rapping. Yeah. And nobody wants to see that shit. I don't like if somebody wanted to go see a girl clapping their ass and then she's sitting there singing on the guitar, they're gonna be mad they spent their five dollars. <laughs> they're gonna be pissed. Like I looked at a picture of you selling yourself to me on Instagram, thinking I'm gonna see more on OnlyFans, and you got more clothes on OnlyFans, and it's just like I'm gonna be Jazz, that's what we need to do, man. We gotta get us a either OnlyFans or no, we're gonna get it on Patreon. We gotta get us a yeah, Patreon. A Patreon, man. I think Patreon works because it's like and which I still need to get a Patreon, but I've I've signed up for a couple of people Patreon before, especially like a couple of astrologers and uh, just truth seekers and stuff. Because I'm like they gonna have little articles and little stuff. I pay five dollars a month for that to get some extra stuff that they not putting on the YouTube or they not putting out there. I don't gotta buy this book for a hundred dollars to yeah. figure out the information. So I've done that before. So if people really mess with you, I know that they'll they'll pay it. Yeah.